What's up guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to mine Ethereum Classic using your gaming PC's graphics card. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you are going to need is an Ethereum Classic wallet which you can send your earnings to. Now personally for this video I'm going to be using Ledger. Uh, simply because I have a Ledger device and that's what I store my crypto on. Uh, but for anyone who is just getting started with crypto and does not yet want to fork out the money for a hardware wallet, I would recommend using Exodus. It is, in my opinion, the best software wallet you can get. Uh, it's extremely easy and quick to get set up and 100% free. So there is a link down below to download Exodus uh, if you're interested. Um, but again, you can use whatever uh, wallet you like as long as you have an Ethereum Classic address. Once you have your address and wallet set up, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to create a folder on your desktop which is going to house the mining software we are going to be using. So we're going to go ahead and right click press new folder and we can name this in theory whatever we would like the mining software I'm going to be showing you how to use today is called NB miner so just to make things simple I like to name my NB miner but it really does not matter now the next step is we have to go ahead and change a few things in the settings in order to allow us to download the software otherwise Windows will flag it up as a virus when we try and download it and also if we try and run it. So we're going to press the start menu and type in, oh, type in virus and it will, sh well, even after it be, the best match is virus and press threat protection. Uh, if you want to go through the settings, you can also press settings, window security, virus and threat protection. Now we're going to do two things in here. So we're going to head down to virus and threat protection settings and click manage settings. And the first thing we're going to do is turn off real-time protection. This simply allows us to go ahead and download it from Chrome without Windows flagging it up as malware. We're then going to scroll down to where it says exclusions and we're going to click on add or remove exclusions. This basically says we're going to, we're going to dedicate a file to the exclusion and it's, we're basically saying no matter what comes in here, don't flag it up as a virus. So we're going to press add an exclusion, press on folder. And we need to make sure we select the folder we made earlier. In my case, that's called NB minor. Press select. And you see we now have an exclusion set up for the file path of the folder we made. So we can go ahead and close that down. Now we need to go ahead and actually install our mining software. The, as I said previously, the mining software I'm going to be showing you how to use today is called NB Miner. Uh, the reason being is because I believe it is extremely beginner friendly. Um, and it's also what I have been using over my time of mining cryptocurrencies and have had no problems whatsoever. Again, the link to this download is below in the uh, bio. We're going to make sure we download the top one, which is the .zip file. Um, the My current version is version 38.2. There might be a newer version depending on when you are watching this. When we click it, Chrome will flag it as being dangerous, as you can see down here. We're just going to press show all at the bottom right, which sends us to the downloads page where we can choose to either remove it from the list or keep dangerous file. Now we're going to press keep dangerous file, but do not worry. It is not dangerous in any way. It is just a message that Chrome puts out to all things that they flag up. So we're going to press keep dangerous file, keep anyways. And you can see it downloads beautifully. So we're going to head over to our file explorer, click on downloads, and you can see that the MB miner shows up at the top. It is a zip file, so the first thing we need to do is extract the file. So we're going to right click on it and press extract. Now we're not going to extract to the default destination, we're actually going to click browse and select the folder that we made earlier. That's because this is the excluded folder and we have to make sure the software is inside the excluded folder. Click select folder and then extract. And you can now see that our MB minor folder actually has something in it. If we double click, you can see it brings the MB minor dot or underscore win. And if we double click that, we see we have a bunch of things inside this folder. Now the first couple of items here, you can basically ignore. This is just all the stuff that's needed to run the software. What we're gonna be looking at 
is these files here, which are all .bat. They're all start, the only difference is in the middle, and that's because these are the batch files for all the different coins. Now today we're going to be working with this one, which is start underscore etc dot bat. The reason being is etc is the abbreviation for Ethereum Classic, which is the coin we are going to be mining today. So you're going to go ahead and select it, right click and click edit. If you're on Windows, it will say it's protected. We're just going to click more info and run anyway, and it will go ahead and open up the notepad with this file. So first thing I'm going to do is just take you through what all of these things mean. First of all, we have the name of the mining software, in this case, NB Miner. Next, we have dash A and then ETC hash. That means that the algorithm is ETC hash, which is the algorithm used to mine Ethereum Classic. Next, we have the dash O and after that is the uh, port or the pool which we are going to be mining to. At the moment, they've set it to a default pool. Uh, looks like a B pool. We're going to go ahead and actually change that to a pool called Ethermine. And the reason I use Ethermine is again, it is extremely, uh, extremely good pool to begin with, extremely easy to use, and it's what I've been using without any flaws so far. So what we're going to do once we're on Ethermine, again, the link to this page is down below in the description. We're going to press on start mining in orange at the top right. And this is going to send us to how to connect. So what we've got to do is we want to change this to suit our pool. So the first thing we're going to do is take the server. Uh, so they've got three URLs, Asia, Europe, and US. You do not necessarily have to be in these regions. You just have to select the one that's closest to you. For example, if you're in Canada, you can see, oh, there is no Canadian server. That's all right. You would choose the US server as that is the one closest to you. As I'm in Europe, I'm going to go ahead and copy the Europe link and I'm going to paste it where the current straight uh, link is so it starts with stratum and ends with .org and as you can see we have now replaced it with the EU ethermine server now after that we have a colon and then some numbers we have to change that because the stratum port for ethermine is actually 4444 and not the default 9518 that they have put in there so again we're going to copy the fours and paste it in there so you can see that we have the eu1 and .org, eu1.org, and then the four fours, four fours. After this, we have a U, and after the U is the address that it will be mining to. Now, currently, there's a default address. We need to make sure we change this to our address, otherwise everything you mine will be sent to someone else's address. So you're going to go into your wallet of choice. In my case, that is Ledger. I'm going to click receive and that's going to go ahead and bring up my Ethereum Classic address, which I can just go ahead and copy. Again, if you're on Exodus, you would go to your Ethereum Classic, press receive, and then your address would show up. We're then going to go ahead and highlight this address there, making sure to stop just before the punctuation or the full stop. And we're going to paste our address. Now you can see we have the period and then the de words default. This is just so you can name your device. In theory, you can leave this as default or you can delete it. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 2070. Oh, making sure to keep the period in there because that is the card that I'm going to be mining on. So for organization purposes, it's easy to give it a name. Once these things have all been changed, we're going to go ahead and click file and save to make sure we save all the edits that we have made. Now we're going to get back to our mining software and we're going to actually start mining. Now, instead of selecting it and right clicking, you're just going to double click the back file that we've just edited. It will bring up a command window and it should start mining as long as everything you've inputted is correct. So congratulations, you are officially now mining Ethereum Classic. Now, if you want to go ahead and view the dashboard, see how much you've earned, all we're going to do is head back over to Ethermine and next to where it says start mining, there's a place to paste your mining address. So we're going to paste our mining address and press enter and that will bring us to the dashboard. So here you can see how many workers are active. Currently, it says there are no workers active. That is because Ethermine takes roughly 15 minutes to 30 minutes to update after you start mining. Don't worry, it will show up. 
You can see your immature balance, your unpaid balance, the estimated earnings. It will give you a graph of everything you've mined, and it will also show you your workers down here once they show up. You also get to payouts. This shows uh, basically how often you've been paid out and when, um, depending on what you've got it set to. You can go to settings. This is where you can go ahead and change uh, your payment threshold. So basically, how much do you want it to mine before it pays you? So anywhere from 0 0.1 to 10 Ethereum Classic, it will mine before it pays out to your address. So congratulations, you are now officially mining Ethereum Classic. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hoped it was useful. Uh, if it was, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.